Hello beautiful people and yes I'm talking to each and every one of you. Welcome back to my channel because I care and if you are new welcome my name is Kendra and today I wanted to give you guys a bit of a review after one week of using Dermadry. Now if you are unaware, I have been trying Dermadry for the past week now and it's something to help out with excessive sweating or in other words, hyperhidrosis. Now the main area that I struggle with is my underarms and I did record little video clips in between treatments and just to give you a bit of an update after my first, second and third treatment. For the first week, I tried the every other day method so you could either do it Monday Wednesday or Friday which is three times a week or you can do it five times a week which you would do Monday to Friday so Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday hey guys so I just wanted to give you a quick update I just did my second treatment for the derma dry total for my underarms excessive sweating and I just wanted to report to you guys that um, I still don't have like redness or blisters or anything like that but it is like a little itchy but I didn't apply my shea butter just yet, so maybe it'll change. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Hey guys, so I am on my third treatment, and I just finished the treatment, and I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. So I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but me changing the levels, it didn't really feel that much different. I can feel that the currents were a little stronger, but it's not even like, I wouldn't even, count it as a whole new level maybe like a half up level i want to show you what happens this time around because this didn't happen the first two treatments so excuse my armpits um i do have to shave soon and um i have dealt with like eczema so my skin is a little darker under there but i want to show you guys something so these weren't here before the treatment before the th level three treatment it was itchy for a moment, but I just threw on some um, shea butter and it literally makes the itch go away instantly. So as long as you don't mind like these little bumps, then you are good. Also, I wanted to mention the mark right there, like along the edge of my armpit. That's not from the treatment. That is from my eczema, like I mentioned. So like the darker spots are not from the treatment. It is from they're just scars like from eczema from like from like me being bad and scratching when i really shouldn't have been but shea butter is helping with fading them so for the first week i wanted to try the three days because i am not really sure what my level of excessive sweating is it goes from mild moderate or severe and i couldn't really decide between moderate and severe because some days it's not as much as other days and they go by the measurements of like how big like the sweat stain is so if it's however many centimeters so my first two treatments i did level two and i did monday and wednesday and then on my third treatment which would be the friday i tried to up the level to level three and it wasn't really that big of a difference but i do explain that a little bit in the snippet that i took the day in between the first two treatments i did sweat but not significantly Significantly more in the derma dry book it does say that you might sweat more before you start to sweat less and I didn't really have that experience it just it wasn't really something different like I didn't I wouldn't say I sweat more but I did still sweat on the day that I didn't do uh, my treatments for my second week of treatments I'm going to try the five days so I'm gonna be doing it Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday I'm gonna try doing it first thing in the morning so that it kind of sets me up for the rest of the day because something that I noticed is right after the treatment I haven't sweat like 15 hours after doing the treatment so I think that if I do it before I start any of my daily activities then I'll be good for like majority of the day and I won't sweat so for example I did a, my very first treatment I did it in the evening around like five o'clock and I didn't sweat again until almost like 5 o'clock, 5 p.m. the next day. And they do recommend that you start at the highest level just to see, just to test your tolerance. For me, I'm a big baby, especially when it comes to anything that could possibly cause any type of pain at all. So I started at, so I started at level two because of like my anxiety around it. And then I was like, you know what? For the third one, I'll do level three. And it really wasn't that big of a difference. I would recommend just picking up a book or something for the time 
of your treatment and it goes by just like that. But stay tuned, make sure you are subscribed and have your bell notifications on so that you know each and every time that I upload, I will be posting a, another video where I do like the full week of like the full five days doing a treatment every day for 15 minutes. That's how long the underarms treatment is. And I'll be doing a review on my second week progress. I really want to keep you guys in the loop. I don't want to just try it for a month and then come back and say something. I want to take you guys on the journey with me. If you found this video helpful or you think that it's going to help someone else, make sure you share and give it a thumbs up. Also, let me know in the comments if you struggle with hyperhidrosis and what areas are your biggest headache. For me, it's my underarms, but it could also be uh, your hands or your feet. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about this device and what your experience has been with hyperhidrosis or if you know someone who has it. Thank you guys so much for all your support and for watching my videos. I appreciate all of you more than I can even say, but I will end this video here. Again, I hope, I hope you loved it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I'll see you in the next upload. Bye! Or in other other words <laughs> my main area that i struggle with is under my underarms wait what under my other underarms under my underarms